science. This we're definitely do. is science for adults. This is a ginormous pine tree in front of my house, and you see these pine cones, and you're thinking, what to do with them? Yeah. Find salt solutions around your environment. Okay, okay. whether it's in an algicide that contains copper. Okay. <laughs> Yep. And the copper is pretty cool because it changes the color of copper, similar to the color the flame's going to make. Yes. Or sea salt, which contains sodium. Okay. And go ahead and just set your pine okay. cone in there. And what, you, what you'll do, I'll let you set that there. And we would yep. set these aside for 24 hours, then pull them out, let them completely dry, and then <laughs> safely in your fireplace. And then I'm going to ignite you. Okay. Yes. And I'll ignite mine. And oh, look, look at, at your copper! The pretty colors. See how well, that produces those two different colors, and imagine that in your fireplace. How beautiful that beautiful. would be. Is it okay. safe to do? Well, of course, only adults only. Yes, of okay. course. And it's working just like you would be working with a wood fire. So Got it. take the precautions of that, and always, of course, read the label on which particular salt material you're okay. getting. So I'm going to do calcium, and you're going to do strontium. Okay. Can okay. you say that one, Catherine? Strotnium, and there I, I kind of want to predict what colors they'll turn. Oh, oh, isn't that look beautiful, at the beautiful, red. beautiful, beautiful. And then I have this nice kind of orangey coloring from the calcium. You're going to do, here, try, grab the zinc, yep. okay, and I'll do sodium, which is the okay. sea salt, okay? And there you go with the zinc, and here is the sodium. And see that really bright orange? Yeah, that's Really nice. bright orange. Yeah, really pretty. A little purple with little orange A little purple tips. in there. Yeah. And so it's su such unique chemistry because as a chemist, I can identify the different metals just by the color the that flames. these elements burn. Okay. That's neat. And let's do lithium. You do lithium, and I'll do boron. Okay. Now you do the prediction here, Catherine. What color do you think lithium is going to be? Uh, lithium is going to be uh, orange. Okay. And I don't um, know. we'll, we'll see. We'll Blue. see. Oh, darn red. Oh, gosh, that's gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at these two colors together. Look Aww. at that. Would that not be beautiful during the holiday season mm, right there in really your fireplace? Would. Okay, and again, some of these elements might be hard to find. Lithium, um, you might find in medications, this or this last one is barium. And be very, very careful whenever you're handling a flame. Of course, adult only science. Motivation for kids to learn more science. Yeah. Fun, fun science. Demonstrate it for them. They will thank you for it and take an interest in science. As we always do when Kim is here, thanks so much. You can learn more about Chemical Kim's experiments at chemicalkim.com. There's a link on our website at wzzm13.com. Just head to the Take 5 homepage.